A car drives at 55 kilometers per hour at a bearing of 235 degrees. How far west has the car moved after 10 minutes? Give answer to the nearest tenth of a kilometer. A bearing is a direction stated as an angle that is measured clockwise, starting from north. As an example, for 150 degrees. With our north, east, south, and west grid, measuring it from north, going clockwise, we go 90 degrees initially. From the 150 degrees, we've used up 90 degrees. This leaves 60 degrees left. We then go an additional 60 degrees, and this will result in our direction. Note, a bearing of 150 degrees can be represented in other ways as well. We can say south 30 degrees east. This means that from south you move 30 degrees towards the east. It can also be written as 30 degrees east of south. From the speed and time, calculate the total distance traveled. Draw a diagram to find the acute angle with west using the given bearing. Solve the resulting triangle for the west component. First of all, the formula for speed is equal to distance divided by time. We can rearrange this formula as distance equals speed times time. We know that the speed is 55 kilometers per hour and the time is 10 minutes. Note that this time must be converted into hours using a conversion factor of 1 hour equals 60 minutes. This gives a result of 0 0.17 hours for the time. Substituting V and T into the formula we get D equals 55 times 0 0.17 so the total distance 9.17 kilometers. We now have to figure out the west component of that distance. The bearing was 235 degrees. From north we go around 90 degrees clockwise then another 90 degrees clockwise gets us to south at this point, we've used up 180 degrees of the 235 degrees. Subtracting, we get 55 degrees left. We draw in an extra 55 degrees clockwise. We get then this angle of 35 degrees. Taking a closer look at this triangle, we had calculated the total distance traveled as 9.17 kilometers. We want to figure out the west component which is X in this diagram. Note that the 35 degrees has X as the adjacent side and 9.17 is the hypotenuse. We can then say that cosine theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. Cosine of 35 degrees equals x over 9.17. x then equals 9.17 times cosine 35 degrees. Substituting this into a calculator, we get 7.5 kilometers.